doing four note taking questions in under four minutes because I haven't made a whole lot more of these because they're so easy, you don't need to even do five of them. Let me show you how to master these note taking questions in just a few minutes. Let's start off by looking at the question because we always want to start by looking at the question, but in the case of note taking questions, the question is super important. This one says here that the student wants to emphasize Australia's role in Southeast Asian immigration. Okay, so I'm looking to focus on Australia and how they relate to Southeast Asian immigration. I'm going to start by looking at the responses, not the notes, okay? The responses will help because I can eliminate responses that don't focus on the topic that the question wants. So looking at my options, the first one here says immigrants from Southeast Asia, that is part of the question, have many options as to where they might go. Australia has positioned itself as the best possible option. Okay, this could be a good response. I'm gonna keep reading a little bit more. B says immigrants often face language barriers and it goes on to explain problems with them. I can already tell that that's wrong. We're not really focusing on the problems immigrants have. We're looking for Australia's role. So I'm gonna eliminate B. With C, immigrants in Australia are well received, but may choose to move to the United States. Okay, again, right away we just went off topic. We left Australia to focus on things about the United States. I'm gonna say that's wrong. D, D says between Australia's openness towards immigrants and their customs, in addition to programs that make it easier for immigrants to settle, it's become a top destination for Southeast Asians. That could also be a great answer. Now between A and D, which one would I pick? Well, A is very general. It doesn't actually mention specific things from the notes and D is much more specific and I wanna choose the specific answer that uses the notes wherever possible. So knowing that D is a more specific answer, all I'm gonna do is try to look for that detail in the notes. Does it say anything about Australia being open towards immigrants and their customs or having programs to support them? And I can search for the word Australia to try to find that information, right? I see here in this note, for example, that it says Australia is more accepting of cultural differences and encourage immigrants to keep many of their customs. Great. So right there, I have two notes that support this answer and that's why we're marking D. Okay, so same strategy. We're gonna look at the question. It says the role of folk religion in African art. So I wanna focus on folk religion in African art. I'm gonna take a look at my answer choices. The first one talks about sculptures and all of these things that they do. That's definitely wrong because it's not focusing on religion. The second one says African art is heavily influenced by folk religion with masks and sculptures representing deities. Okay, this seems like this is probably the right answer because it's connecting the two topics that we're looking for from the question and it seems to be doing a great job of that. Let's just check the other two. C talks about masks being an essential part of religion. Um, that's one aspect, but I feel like it's focusing strictly on the masks and not how religion plays a role in art. D talks about music, kind of similar to C with a lot of focus on that specific kind of art, but not the whole concept of art in general or religion. So just knowing that I can rule out A, C, and D, I'm gonna mark B. I didn't even have to look at the notes. Like I can just see that one of those responses is really on topic. All right, the student wants to emphasize the role of cavalry in the Napoleonic Wars. Let's focus on answers that have cavalry in them. The first one says, saw some of the most famous cavalry battles in European history, good start. Battles, a bunch of battles, a bunch of battles and shape the course. Okay, it kind of just focuses on a list of battles and not really the role of cavalry, what the cavalry did in those battles. So I don't like A. B talks about Napoleon's legacy, says that he reformed the army. Okay, we haven't even talked about cavalry yet, so I know B is wrong. Look at it, C, Napoleon's military strategy relied heavily on the use of cavalry. He used the mobility of his cavalry. Okay, this is the right answer. It's, it's telling me what the cavalry did. C is the right answer. We don't even need the notes. All right, final question we have. The student wants to emphasize the environmental effects of the industrial revolution. If environmental effects are what I wanna focus on, let's take a look at our answers. A says the industrial revolution in Britain created new job opportunities, improved standards of living. That is wrong. We are not focusing enough on the environment yet. The steam engine and railways greatly improved conductivity but required fossil fuels. Again, focusing on the positive before we get to the environmental part, I just don't think A or B are correct. Cities were more polluted thanks to the transition from agriculture to industry, but this got better over time. I feel like this is too narrow. It's just focusing on the cities and I don't think that's the right answer. The last one says the industrial revolution in Britain brought with it significant environmental cost. Again, we've linked the two key concepts from the question. Due to the increased use of coal and other resources, and it can be said that today's global warming began here. This is definitely the right answer. I can confirm it with the notes. It talks about how, you know, this time forward, global carbon emissions rose year after year. Note-taking questions are super easy, everybody. All you gotta do is focus on the answers. 
Don't even bother reading the notes first. Just look at the answers and pick the one that is most on topic, that most focuses on those key concepts or terms that are used in the question. If you're not seeing those ideas from the question in the first couple of lines of the notes, it's probably wrong because it's using off-topic information and that's it.